Hey traders, Jake from Optimus Futures here bringing you a new video. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download and install the Stereo Trader add-on for MT4 and MT5. In our video specifically, we'll be covering the futures market with MT5, but again, this is a scalable interface for both MT4, MT5, and it's designed for trading on CFDs, futures, and the Forex markets. Now, if you aren't familiar with Stereo Trader, it's an add-on for MT5. It gives you the ability to net or hedge your positions. There's isolated strategies. There's history of trading you can access. There's true one-click speed trading, intelligent order types. And again, it's designed for MT4 and MT5. Now you can actually see it in the background on my chart here. We'll get into the specifics a little bit later on. For now, we just wanna show you how to install this and get it up and running. So after you've signed up for Stereo Trader, and you obtain the download link. When you first download the, the software or the add-on here, you will get the STEM EXC, and it will open the setup window as you can see here. In this setup window, you wanna proceed through the installation. You'll click on the arrows to the right. Go ahead and read through these user agreements here. You could also change this language to German if you'd like. Once you've read through it and you accept the agreements, you can click the I accept the agreement button. Now proceeding forward, you'll need to choose your product. Like I mentioned before in our video, we'll be focusing on the version of MetaTrader 5. But if you do have MT4 and you want to use this add-on for MT4, go ahead and select your edition from the drop-down menu here and the version of Stereo Trader you'd like to install. For our purposes in this tutorial, we'll be just using Stereo Trader MT5 Classic. Once this is selected, we'll go ahead and click on these arrows again. And you'll be brought to this window now like i showed you and as you can see we do have mt5 open in the background here so this window is just letting you know that if it is open it will close down the platform uh, and if you click this checkbox right here once everything is installed and updated it'll actually restart the platform for you moving forward you'll now need to select the download path for your installation as you can see mt5 just automatically closed for me now on my computer, I have two different versions of MT5 installed. Uh, for you, you may only have one. So depending on what you see here, just go ahead and choose the installation path for Stereo Trader. Just double click these checkboxes here and it will install Stereo Trader to those file directories. Moving forward, if we click the double arrows again, uh, Stereo Trader will now install for MT5. This may take a couple of minutes, so we'll fast forward through this video and come back to you once this is all ready and good to go. All right, welcome back. So it's a couple of minutes later and Stereo Trader has just finished its installation, as you can see in the background. Now, when we go ahead and click finish here, we should have MT5 automatically relaunch itself. There we go, as we checked in the installation guide before. Now. When you first launch MT5 or when it reopens automatically for you, you may not see Stereo Trader right away as you have seen in my video. There's actually a setting or two within MT5 that if you haven't used an add-on like this before, may not be enabled or disabled. It needs to be in order for Stereo Trader to properly run. So to go ahead and do that, you need to go to tools at the top of your platform and then go to options. Within options here, you're going to want to click on the Expert Advisors tab, as you can see I'm clicked on right here, and then enable Allow Algorithmic Trading. Go ahead and uncheck all of the four boxes down here, and then enable the Allow DLL Imports option and Allow Web Requests for Listed URL. Once those are all enabled and you click OK, you should be brought to a similar looking screen as you can see right now. If, if not, just go ahead and open up a chart and Stereo Trader should automatically apply itself to that chart. Now, when you first signed up, you should have been provided with the license key for Stereo Trader. To apply that license key, if you look at the top left of your chart, you'll see a Stereo Trader logo with the clock. Go ahead and click on this arrow icon to the left of the clock and go ahead and click on Stereo Trader Setup. Within here, you can go ahead and add your license code right in the license code field. Um, this is sensitive, so we'll blur this out for this video, but you will be provided with this. 
and then go ahead and add on any of your license codes as well if you did purchase any additional licenses. Now for this, there are a couple different options here. We may get into this in other videos, but for now, we're gonna leave these as the default settings. And if you do go through here, you can see what the instrument and the symbol you're trading on, what the volume is on the current product, what the actual product is itself, what exchange it belongs to, etc. So that's actually going to be it for this video. We just want, really wanted to make a quick video just showing you how to install Stereo Trader. Mostly the settings up at the top here are very important and they need to be enabled or disabled appropriately for a Stereo Trader to run properly. And then again, we wanted to show you how to apply your license key as well. So we just wanted to keep it short and sweet for this one. Again, we will make a whole series of playlists just for this uh, Stereo Trader add-on specifically. So keep an eye out for the other options. We'll go over the order types the different exit strategies that this uh, add-on provides, as well as the different indicators that are included as well. Thanks again for watching. We hope this helped. If you do have any questions, please let us know, or feel free to come over to our forum. That's community.optimusfutures.com, and you're more than welcome to ask your questions there.